Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Majorette Volkswagen Beetle. I've bought a job lot ages ago and this one was one of them. And uh, I think everybody is done a heavy by now, so now is my turn. But mine is going to be a bit different because I'm going to split it in half like in the film. This one has got the wrong number for starters and it hasn't got much detail to be honest it's just a new version of the Majorette and uh, you can open the front, the bonnet, whatever you want to call it it's got a bit of uh, weathering <coughs> and that's about it so I'm gonna have to chop it and in order to do that I actually need another one and uh, I'm gonna cut in half and use the front from one and the back from the other one mainly because the Dremel takes a lot of material and uh, I don't have a jeweler saw I'm taking it apart and uh, of course I need to chop the interior in a half as well and use one from one and the back from the other one and uh, I also got to do the same on the windshield and on the chassis so basically I need to chop both cars in half Time to do the splits and uh, like I said before uh, the Dremel takes a lot of material away so I need to take that in consideration and start the cut way before uh, where I want the real cut. I was gonna make it look like the one in the film, but it doesn't work that way. If you see these little beads, they're supposed to marry each other, and it looks like they do. But in real life, when you put it together, this is what it looks like, with a massive gap in the middle. So, I'm gonna make it flat. And as for the two remaining parts, with the front, I'm gonna make a truck and with the bag I'm gonna do a trailer so no waste these are the metal filings that I've been saving as you've seen in the last couple of videos to mix with my super glue
I've glued the car together temporarily because I still need to cut the roof off and I want to do it as a whole unit and uh, I'm going to use some tape just as a guide. So that's the hole on the roof done and I think it looks pretty decent. I'm gonna get rid of all the casting lines and do a bit of sanding while I still got the car in one piece just because it's easier to handle and then I'll be splitting it in half again. I've also got to cut everything else in half so I'm gonna start with the window and I also have to do the hole on the roof on each half I've done the window and the interior already and I think it's starting to look like something already Now I just need to do the same with the chassis I need to make a roll cage on the back of the car and I'm gonna use paper clips but this time I'm gonna leave the plastic sleeve 
as they look a bit thicker. The bar is only glued to the interior and now I'm just going to use some small pieces for the size of the roll cage. Time to address the wheels and I've got these ones from a different model and I'm just going to do some suspension as well and uh, they're not the best wheels but they look a bit like the ones in the film and uh, I also need to make the suspension work for both parts so I'm going to melt these plastic tabs and that will hold uh, the suspension in place and then I'll have to cut it to size. For the other half, I'm actually going to put the suspension the other way round, so it fits better. I've glued a bit of styrene on the back of the interior to make it look like the one in the film. This will also hold the car together. Now I just need to fabricate the gear stick and the handbrake. And for that, I'm just gonna use some guitar strings. And uh, I've got it here already cut it to size, but it's so small that I don't know if you are gonna be able to see. So I'm going to do this bit off camera and then you see the result. I'm also using half a magnet on each side, so that will hold the car together.
I still need to put something on the base so the cut is level when it's in two parts. I'm using grey for the interior and I'm gonna be using off-white for the main body. I'm using some homemade decals and I'm gonna make it look of course like the original heavy. I've made the roof out of a carrier bag and uh, I put a decal and fold it like an accordion, then I lose the footage. And now I'm just gonna glue it onto the car. Finally everything's done and I'm just gonna put it back together. I've glued a couple of metal studs on the chassis so the car is level when it's split in half. I couldn't put any small wheels because I didn't have enough room with all the suspension. So there you go, my own interpretation of the love book. I've had a lot of fun with this one, but it was almost like I've done two different cars at the same time. And now this can go as a winner with the rest of my Beatles collection. As you can see, I've about to do a bit of fabrication on this one. So I think that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.